morning welcome back to another vlog it's an absolutely gorgeous day outside the sun is shining um it is nice to see the sun that is for sure um got a nice day ahead we're gonna walk teddy again which i'm excited about and yes oh let me get ready and I'll be back with you. I've got something exciting to talk to you about. Just coming to you from my bouncy ball with my coffee. I wanted to talk to you a little bit about this rather lovely Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra um, that I've been trying out for the past few days. First of all, well, it's looking a little dirty actually because I've been using it. So that's a little bit better. It's nice and clean now. This video is partly sponsored by Vodafone. So thank you very much Vodafone for sending me this handset to try out. But can we just take a minute to appreciate this gorgeous, massive screen. Um, and I also love the size and shape of this S21 Ultra. It just feels chic and sleek. I've actually been very, very curious and been wanting to try out a Samsung handset for the longest time, mostly because of the camera capabilities. And if we look at the back of this one, it has four cameras, two of which are telephoto lenses, one of which is three times optical zoom and the other is 10 times optical zoom. And that is mostly what I've been playing around with since I received this because I get very excited about cameras and that sort of thing. And I have to say the cameras are fantastic. The colors are beautiful. Um, the zoom capability specifically is really, really great. It also provides 8K video mode, which is very exciting for someone that films so much of their life. I'm gonna film a little walk with Teddy on this so that you all can see how lovely it is. Like I said, I love that big screen. I love that it has minimal bezel. It just looks so sleek and so nice and the colors are so nice. And it also has a really quick refresh rate so that when you're scrolling, um, there's no lagging, no nothing. It feels very smooth to use, which I love. So in general, I've been very much enjoying using this. And also some of the benefits for choosing Vodafone for Samsung include a trade-in guarantee, which will mean you will save £360 if you trade in a Galaxy S9 or S10. They also provide an annual upgrade promise, which means you can get the latest Samsung every year by trading in your old handset and getting a new plan. And there's no early upgrade fee, which is fantastic. And possibly most importantly of all, Vodafone is an award-winning network as voted by readers of Trusted Reviews and they work really, really hard to provide the best service for their customers. So yes, I've been really enjoying trying this out. I really do love the feel of it in my hand. It feels so luxurious and nice. If you are not already a Vodafone customer, you can get a £50 Amazon voucher when you buy a phone in the Samsung Galaxy S21 range using the link in the description box. Let us go on a little walk with Teddy and see how nice the cameras perform. <laughs> So back from our walk with Teddy, filmed all of that on the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra and I love the video, came out so good I think. Highly recommend if you're looking for a phone or a handset that has really good photo and video capabilities. But anyway, I've run myself a little bath, don't know where the time has gone today, spent a fair bit of it on the computer and it just seems like suddenly the day is over. Um, I'm going to have a little pre-dinner bath, I'm going to just take my makeup off quickly. I put a bit more on from earlier 
um, because I realized I had to shoot something real quick and I was not loving my look. So I just added a little bit of liner. Anyway, I'm going to use the Bare Mineral Smoothness Hydrated Cleansing Oil. Take my makeup off. Yes, yeah, going to have a nice chilled out, relaxed evening. Zach's making a Massaman curry, which I'm very excited for. And I thought I might take you through some of the fiction on the bookshelves today because I keep forgetting to do that in a vlog and I feel like it might be of some interest. Just a little overview. I don't think my mum and I did a fantastic job of organising because it was su there was such a lot of books and all of them needed like cleaning and hoovering and stuff as well so we didn't have much of a method, we did what we could. Might do a bit more of a reorganisation at some point. Then just using my old fave, the Niacinamide and Zinc um, Serum from the ordinary. I like to use this in the evening and my skin longevity serum in the daytime, which I'm now topped up on, which is good. And then I actually got this the other day, not that I'm going to try it right now, but I thought I'd just mention it. I got this sent to me from It Looked Fantastic the other day. It's the Ordinary's 100% Nice and White Powder, and I might give that a go at some point, maybe post pregnancy, so I don't, you know, unbalance my skin too much. But you're supposed to mix a little bit of this powder with a water-based treatment in the palm of your hand and apply to the face. So yes, but I am intrigued by this, definitely. And then I'm going to use my Bare Mineral Skin Longevity Night Treatment. All good. Now I'm going to go and get in the bath. I'm going to read my book, The Only Good Indians. Still kind of unsure about it, and then that's what I said in a recent vlog. Also, our internet's down, so that's going to force me to read and stop endlessly scrolling my phone. I've mixed mine in so it doesn't look as nice. Here's Sax. So my love's had our dinner, which is very, very nice. And then watched our requisite episode of Married at First Sight. And now I thought I would just take you through some of the fiction um, on these shelves. Along the top, we have some biographies. And then into the classics, got some Tolstoy, Dostoevsky, Forster, Hardy, D.H. Lawrence, George Eliot, lots of George Eliot, and lots of Austin as well there at the end. In these gorgeous sort of old-fashioned copies, um, and I may nick a few of these at some stage. Um, more sort of classics on this shelf. Wharton, I've got Rebecca on there, Watership Down, George Orwell, Steinbeck. David Copperfield, some C.S. Lewis there. And then on this shelf is a little bit more contemporary fiction because of the way we did them. <laughs> These shelves at the end here are the most mishmashed, I think. Um, so we've got some Tolkien to start and then various other novels. We've got a copy of Sophie's World here, Time Traveller's Wife, Brick Lane, I remember that being a big deal when it came out. Um, more contemporary fiction, some more hardbacks here. She loved Tana French, so there's lots of Tana French hanging around. Got some Donna Tartt there, Louis de Bernier. And at the bottom, I think, um, like I said, these ones are the most mixed up. We've got a kind of mixture of things. There's a lot of textiles books in general but it looks like some of these might be interior design books loads of reference books in general <laughs> loads and loads so at the bottom here i think we've got some indies kids books um but also some more big reference books what have we got here some nature ones art ones more interior design ones as well moving up we have more interior design ones i think most of these home-based ones. Then we've got lots of historical fiction, lots of Philippa Gregory. I've never read any Philippa Gregory. I wonder if I would like it. A bit of um, Andrea Levy, Small Island, more contemporary fiction up here. Lahiri's The Namesake, The Book Thief. What else can we see? Cloud Atlas, The Reluctant Fundamentalist. Uh, Memoirs of a Geisha, Devil Wears Prada, I remember reading that and enjoying it. More contemporary fiction up here, a lot of Zadie Smith. Bigger fan than I am of Zadie Smith, unfortunately. I'm not a Zadie Smith fan. Um, Ursula Under, which I've read, some Morrison, Alice Siebold, and some Atwood 
bigger fan of Atwood than I am as well. The Eugenides here. Um, at the top we've got lots of Ian McEwans there. A sorted mix of hardbacks at the top there. We've got Hearts Invisible Furies, which sadly I did not love. On that second shelf, what else we've got? The Historian, A Gathering Light, both of those are good. Some, lots of Sebastian Forks, some Sarah Waters here, um, Kite Runner, and A Thousand Splendid Suns. What else have we got here? Life of Pi. Uh, V.S. Naipaul and of course we've got her mantels here which we love we've got some hardback editions of those then moving into lots of needlework embroidery and textiles reference books lots and lots of those and more of Indy's kids books at the bottom there I think and then she also um, did degrees in theology um, and history so we've got more reference books over on this side as well relating to those two. So that is a little bit of a close-up on the bookshelves um, of all of my aunt's books and I'll definitely be perusing them for many years to come when I'm on the lookout for something new to read. But yes, as I've said before, it's so nice to have them all together. Also, my loves, I mentioned this on Instagram. I don't think I've mentioned it on here, but please forgive me if I have because I instantly forget who I've said what to. Um, but I mentioned this on Instagram a while ago and I sometimes still get questions now like, what was that journal that you mentioned? Um, so I'm gonna put it in here as well, but it's this Mother of Sunday's childhood journal. And it's so cute, I really need to start um, filling it out, but all of our scan pictures are at home. Let me take that off now. All of our scan pictures are at home. So I think I will wait until I have those because there's little pages for scans, but. Well, I might start filling it out, actually. Anyway, that's something for when I <laughs> when I um, sort of start my maternity leave. But yes, so this is a little um, independent brand. I thought it was a really, really nice version of a childhood journal, so I bought one for myself. So this is the contents. I'll give you a little closer look. Um, so we've got Before You Arrive. That's the bit I need to um, fill in. And then it goes all the way up to their 18th birthday and then you've got sections at the back as well for extra little bits. I know that it's generally quite gender neutral in terms of the parents and stuff I think um, from what I can remember and it would make a lovely gift for a pregnant person in your life as well um, but yes so this is all the before you arrived stuff and like I said here's the places for scans um, first trimester, second trimester, third trimester. We've got a little bit of space for the birth story and some info. Footprints and handprints, which is cute. I think the first year section is one of the thickest um, because obviously a lot changes over that first year. <laughs> gets a little bit brief, more brief over the following years. My mum said, I will not be filling this in when she's 18. I mean, that is very possible. It's nice to imagine that I will, and at least she might have the first year or couple of years. But anyway, memories and milestones here at the back. We've got first times, we've got special holidays, which I think is nice. I also think they do separate journals for holidays if you want to do one for a specific holiday. And I think there might be like first days at school and stuff. First at primary school, secondary school, wow, and then some notes at the back. Anyway, I just thought it was a really nice journal, so I thought I'd share it on here as well. Anyway, my loves, I think I'm so tired today. I think I'm gonna sign off for the evening. I did DNF, The Only Good Indians, earlier. Something about the style of it, I just couldn't get along with. Um, and it's not like I'm saying the style is bad, I'm just saying that it, I don't think it was for me. I had to put it down because I have not got time for bad books at the minute. I'm trying to be good, like I said. Um, so I'm gonna start something else, but I don't know what. Kind of tempted by The Way of Kings, but it's really long. <laughs> and I don't know if I have the energy for a long book at the moment. But anyway, I'm gonna pick a new book, but I don't think I'll be reading for long this evening because I'm so sleepy. If you're wondering why there's another bath running, Zach is running a bath, by the way. I'm not a, having a two bath situation. That would be excessive. Anyway, my loves, thank you all for watching today. 
Um, I will see you again very, very soon. Bye.